Hello everyone and welcome back to another G1 Transformers review and as you can see I'm doing the second of the protector bots um, I'm not actually doing them in order of their numbers it's just how the sort of like order I've just brought them out at um, as you can see this is streetwise um, a police car modelled along a little bit like Prowl of the G1 era um, as you can see he's still on his card, I thought I'd leave him in his bubble for the start of the review so you can see how they're packaged. Um, you get obviously the basic vehicle which is the figure, then you get his larger gun, the adapter there for connecting the gun to the car and his small weapon at the top there. I'll bring the artwork in so you can see what that's like. And I'll show you the back of the card. So you can see the other protector bots at the top, usual robot points, how to transform him, and of course his little write up with his motto. Bring that in so you can pause that and read it at your pleasure. Um, obviously, I'll take him out now. Um, quite a standard. Sort of normal sort of combiner at the time. Again, as I said in first age review, these came out in um, 1986. Um, pretty standard little, like I say, a little bit modelled on G1 Prowl sort of police car. I should, I should imagine that's modelled along something like the Mazda at the time. Um, yeah. Nice little car mode, usual thing, rub sign at the front, sticker details on the sides, I'll bring that in so you can see it a little bit clearer. And the side windows are stickers, but the front and rear windows are actual painted plastic. And again the same details on that side. Quite a nice little car mode, and as I said, it came with a larger cannon and they all fit on with a split connector which goes in the back hole which I'll put it in and that allows you the chance to fit him on the back like so so that streetwise has got an attack mode again very similar to the stunt the cons in that sense pretty standard as the say as a combiner, um, and I'll give you a little look at his little gun. I'll try and get that in the light so you can see the moulding on it. Pretty good detail when you consider the size of these weapons. They are tiny, but they went to the effort of actually moulding them all a different ones, and quite a bit of moulding detail on it, really. Um, anyway, we'll get to the figure now. To transform him, it's pretty simple. You lift the back of the car around. And that's his legs done and you flip the whole front round and as you bring it round you lift the bonnet up slightly pull the arms out to the sides and then just bring the whole thing round like so and that's it now he's a little bit different from the other combiners in that transformation because he's actually got and I'll bring it in so you can see it a proper little head rather than the usual post type arrangement on these figures nicely painted little blue eyes in there it's quite good but for the post he's actually got a separate one which is on the back and you can bring that right through either way it, it clips on underneath there um, but for if you want to use him for the arm mode or the leg mode of defence, so you don't actually use the head head, if you know what I mean, um, which is unusual in these combiners because that's usually always the heads. So he's a little bit taller than the normal ones, but he's quite a, I don't know, he's quite a skinny, I mean, obviously he's kibbly, I mean, he's a G1, for God's sake, he's going to be kibbly, but he's an unusual one of the combiners is quite different in that sense um, as I say little gun that goes in his fist and of course you've then got 
360 degree shoulder movement but unfortunately that's all really I suppose you could make him kneel down due to his transformation but that's just luck that you've got some knee articulation no separate leg articulation at all which is a little bit of a pity that he couldn't have had a little pull apart joint but then again as I say this is G1 so they didn't really go for fine details like they do today um, and that's about it really um, things to look out for him not really a lot you can damage with him unless you're really rough with these figures there's not really a lot to break um, the main body is actually cast metal which is quite nice and that sort of metallic finish not quite chrome but quite nice um, gives the main body a certain amount of sort of weight and strength which is a little bit sorely missed these days I have to admit um, but that's about it it's quite a basic figure so there's not really a lot to talk about him um, yeah that's it for Streetwise I shall see you again for another Protector Bot review and please feel free to comment subscribe um, you know, anything you want to see particularly please feel free to message me or leave a comment on this review and um, please feel free to have a look at the other reviews if this is the first one you've come across you know have a look I've got quite a lot of other G1 stuff on uh, YouTube now um, and I shall see you again for another review